Bonjour and welcome to another week of talking about sports and hobbies. This week we hope to build on our knowledge of vocabulary and see how it looks when we put it together in, in short reading passages and see how you get on understanding more extended language. Okay, task one is building on your vocabulary. You've got 10 phrases that are opinions about why you might like or not like doing a particular activity. Um, so you've got French on the left, English on the right. It's a simple match up. It'd be good though if you wrote that out in your vocab jotter so you've got the phrases noted down there so that you can use them again rather than just doing the numbers and the letters. Okay, if you're looking for a bit of extra, there's an extension task at the bottom. Um, a couple of sentences to try and write in French. Okay, task two is a reading task which you'll complete in your cahier rouge. So you've got passage on this slide um, with somebody talking about what they um, like to do and talking a little bit about some members of the family as well and what they like to do. Now you might not understand every single word but before you start reaching for um, dictionaries and translators, if you have a look at the questions on the next slide and see what you can work out. Okay, you might not need to understand every single word to answer all the questions. Okay, so here are the questions to go with the passage on the previous slide. I would like you to write your answers in English in sentences in your cahier rouge, please. Okay, for task three, I want you to do a little bit of writing in French and practicing seeing what time you do things. Okay, so you've got some time phrases in on the left there, and then You've got on the right hand side, you've got the English sentences that I want you to put into French. So it's got, I play cricket on Sunday mornings. Okay, so when we want to say on Sunday mornings in French, you just put le in front of the day of the week. You don't need to put the word for on. Okay, so I don't want to see any sewers in these sentences. It's all going to be le. So on a Saturday afternoon, I do dance. So you could say le samedi après midi. Je fais de la danse. Okay, so you'll also have to think about how we say the different activities. So you've got all that vocabulary from previous lessons, so look back and remember whether you're writing je joue or je fais or whatever. Okay? Okay, task four is uh, reading comprehension again. So you've got a little passage here, somebody talking about what they do and what they think of it. And then here you've got sentences in English with some information missing. So Guillaume's hobby is, so if you look up here somewhere, you should be able to find what the hobby is. The picture is a little bit of a clue as well. Um, and then you go through them all and add in in English any information that's missing. So it should be fairly straightforward. Task five is another reading. Um, Really, really practicing your reading skills today and, and making sure you can understand when you see extended sentences with all this vocabulary in. So again, somebody talking about what they like doing and what their family likes doing and some questions to answer in English. Okay, task six is a writing task and it's you being able to write sentences to see how long you've been doing something. Now, I'm going to say this warning right at the start. I do not want you using any kind of Google Translate or alternative translating machine to do this, okay, because you're going to get it all wrong, all right? You need to look at the explanation at the top there about using the word depuis. So its official meaning is since, but you, if you want to use it to say how long you've been doing something for, you use your normal phrase for the sport that you do, so je fais du judo, je joue au foot, je joue au rugby. Then you put in your word depuis, and then you put in your time phrase. Um, so if you look at the examples here, je fais du judo depuis deux ans. I've been doing judo for two years. Okay. Or if you wanted to say I've been doing something since the age of whatever, then you would say je fais du judo depuis l'âge de and then the number of years, this all, for example, here. Okay, so I've done the first one for you. Je joue au cricket depuis quatre ans. And then for the second one, I've been doing dance since I was five years old. You would think about how you say I do dance, which is je fais de la danse. And then you would put in something like this. Depuis l'âge de, this time it's five. So instead of ten, you would write cinq. 
and then all for years. Okay, so everything that you need, you have without going near any kind of machine. Just remember that although it says I've been doing, you just want to say I do. The phrase that you know to say I do or I play. Okay, so they're all going to start with either je fais or je, je joue. Okay, good luck.